Hi there, it's Paul here from the House of the Outsiders and thank you for dropping by. Today I've got a page that I've done for a challenge for the Junk Journals group. The three prompts are rainbow, doodling and inks and I thought if that doesn't scream me, what does? <laughs> so I thought well I shall start off with a rainbow background. That'll fulfil that part of the challenge. And now I'm not the world's best at blending. I can blend if I put a bit of focus and time into it and you know I really focus into it I can blend my inks but I'm nowhere as proficient as uh, some I've seen online who are absolutely stunning with distress inks. However distress oxides they, they just blend like butter it's absolutely brilliant so don't worry I'm not going to show you in real time the whole the whole process but I thought I'd show you how in real time I put down the red and the orange straps and as you can see sort of like um, I'm very smudgy and slapdash at putting the the colors on but it still works that's the great thing about these pigment inks. I know the distress oxides for some people they love the idea and I know the there's an idea that you put water on them um, to give them that look and that's one of the reasons for using it but the reasons I like using distress oxides are because of the blending <laughs> because it doesn't matter how ham-fisted you are you can get a good blend um, you know so I'm just slapping on lines of the color and then going back with the previous color and just swiping it in until it blends and there we go I'm putting a lot more blue on because I figured that I'd need to blend quite a bit of that green into the blue just to blend it in you see it's already taking shape it's already looking <laughs> quite rainbow-esque I mean when I've gone and chosen my distress oxides I don't have the whole kit and caboodle I think I've said this before but when I choose when I buy a product I tend to buy um, limit myself to buying the Roy G Biv of colors and the, 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 the whole rainbow plus I might buy a black a white and a gray depending on what it is so I've got the bright colors in the distress oxides and I think I've got three. I've got two. The two greys and the black. So I limit myself. No browns. Never. I've never bought brown. <laughs> and anyway, after laying on my background, you have to uh, make sure you dry the inks. Otherwise, you, <laughs> like you might see in a close-up of my page, you get your fingerprints all over them. Okay. I thought I would show also my process for choosing the collage images. Although I've sped it up, this is the actual process I've gone through. I've torn out a few magazine images and then select, selected which ones I think go together, but never know for sure. So I started off with a body, which is, in this case, a picture of RuPaul. All, all these pages were ripped out of a Guardian magazine um, in which RuPaul gave a an <laughs> controversial interview. Apparently it got all over the internet because... He claimed that women couldn't become drag artists on the drag show, so he got into trouble for that. Not very woke of him. <laughs> but I'm still a big fan. Anyway, love that jacket because I could see possibilities for doodling over it. And then I picked the picture of this actress, and I liked her. I liked the makeup she had on. I liked the sideways look because I knew I could do. I could cut it out into this kind of strange almost alien Star Trek kind of face when you sort of like chop all the hair off and crop it quite closely gives it that kind of surreal quality now I've also seen this picture of broccoli and wondered could it be used and I kind of yeah it looks like some kind of weird fluffy cloud that she's floating on so <laughs> I don't know what was going through my mind but I thought yeah um, Visually, it worked for me, and then uh, because it was the Guardian magazine, they had kind of the same photo, but in two different sizes. I've obviously gone for the smaller one because I think that worked better with the with the with the combo. So here I'm cutting, fussy cutting the whole thing out. Although, as I say, fussy cutting really, this is not that fussy. I don't. 
I, 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 I round things off quite a lot, so when um, it's not that fussy. Okay, chopped away. Thought, yeah, maybe that could be a hair, um, but no, prefer prefer it like that. And that's it. I'm not going to add any more. I feel that that is my complete collage. I'm sure I can do something with that. Right, well, whilst I wait for the glue to dry uh, on my collage, I thought I'd go ahead with the stamping. Now, in my last video, I think it was, I showed you, I think the stamp company is called Concord 9th, that I, um, that I had a script set that um, inspired by watching a, a video by Vicky P. And I hadn't realised when I bought the stamp set that there's actually... Um, uh, Oh, I don't know what you call it, but, but a stamp set that goes with it, the, which is all capital letters. So I've bought that in the interim because I've liked it, and that's I've used that in here. So there's there's the lowercase and the uppercase uh, stamp set. Now, stamped it all, cut it all out, and yeah, rather than stamp the quote onto my page, I thought I'll stamp it separately. And then we'll stick the we'll stick the quote on. And the quote is from um, there's a comedy over in the UK called The News Quiz, and there's a comedian called Jeremy Hardy. And this was a quote he mentioned when he was talking about swimming in uh, knitted underwear, uh, knitted swimming trunks. Um, hence, my crutch was full of krill, and I love that comment. So that's going in. Now, for the ch part of the challenge that says doodling, I am doodling my border. This is something. It's not my own design doodle it's uh, something i saw online and i've adapted it for for my purposes but the sort of like the idea came from from there where you draw a whole heap of triangles dead easy whole whole heap of triangles and then you round round sort of like uh, round them off at the end and all i've done is once i've done that is is uh, use use some lines to cross hatch in them to give some kind of detail and then when I stopped and looked at it, I thought, yeah, I'd like to add a little bit more. So I've taken my white Posca pen and I've added dots inside each of the triangles. And then to add a little bit more texture to my background, I've taken each of my colours in the rainbow. I've taken a coordinating Posca pen and just dotted and circled and drawn dots. <laughs> so it all, all looks like a diseased rainbow now. <laughs> but here I am finishing off with the, with the last of it, adding the pink dots. Okay, I thought I'd do this before I add journaling. Sometimes I've added the journaling first beforehand. And here I'm just showing you the end of the process where I'm gluing on my quote. Okay, you can see the collage still looks, the magazine colour, it's under the lights, it is drying, but it, you can see kind of a, that it looks a little patchy where the, where the glue is underneath it. Now, as always, as you see quite a lot of people do with collage, is outline it so I take my thicker Posca pen and outline the outside of the collage and then with a slightly thinner one go around the inside and start adding the detail and here like I thought I'm going to take that white jacket and I'm going to add even more doodles to it <laughs> this is quite a fun process all those kind of weird blobby shapes I like to add Yeah, I'm just following around the angles of the suit with me kind of blobby shapes. Um, make it look more like a tiger print. <laughs> Great fun. Now because the trousers are white, I've added the white pen to sort of like so you can see that the belt I've added. And then of course, it won't look weird and freaky if I don't make the eyes look weird and freaky. So I've taken me sort of like Molotov pen and uh, covered the covered the eyes in white and I thought it needed no more no more detail than a bit of a black dot and then around the forehead I've thought I'd add some cracks and lightning kind of detail um, and then this kind of uh, lines around the lips make it look like sewn lips I know a bit gruesome okay so now that I've added all that detail that I want to the collage and think I finished I've done exactly the same for the Quotation, just to ground it, as I'm sure you've heard lots of people say, I've just added the black border. I'm not smudged it or anything like that, just a nice black line. <laughs> there we go. I 
ah, now I mistakenly, when I said earlier on that I thought I'd sort of like added the cracks of the forehead, I apologise, I got it wrong, this is the moment I did it. Ah, you know what, one day I'm going to get really good at this sort of like commentating whilst I'm watching how I've done videos. <laughs> ah. Stick around, you never know, by, by the end of the year, I'll, I'll have got this, I'll have got this down. <laughs> I'll have, I'll have, I'll be completely professional. Now my final finishing touch is to, I looked at the board and I thought I really wanted it to look a lot darker so I've filled in the outside, uh, around the, the outside of where I've doodled with black pen. Okay, and that's going to be the end of this journal page. Uh, I left it out thinking, yep, that looks good. So I hope you enjoyed and put up with my ramblings and I look forward to hopefully seeing you again soon. Some photos coming up, speak to you later. Bye-bye.